Hi guys, this is Ashley back with another reading. Um, this reading is going to be on um, Megan Thee Stallion musically. What's going to happen for her in 2022? Uh, what type of success she's going to have? Um, before we get into the reading, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. This is my second page um, where I'm just going to be doing readings only on this page. Weekly, not every day. Um, so make sure you do that. Okay. So let's start off with this. Let's start off with this. Um, how will Megan's career be musically in 2022? Megan Thee Stallion, how will her career be musically in 2022? Hmm. Interesting. Ooh. Okay. So the Ace of Wands here in reverse, that talks about a lack of progress, lack of growth. So that just means that there's still going to be that disconnection from the audience. You know, people are expecting more from Megan, but it just seems like it could be a little stagnant when it comes to growth in her musical career. Um, the five of pentacles is here that talks about a financial loss. Okay. So that means, you know, maybe 1501 is not able to recoup the, the money that they put into Megan. Okay. And maybe she gets help from rock nation, but it looks like, um, you know, she's going to be taking a financial loss musically, not within commercial deals, but musically she may be taking a financial loss. Okay. People are, are not going to be super receptive to the music that she's putting out but that can change you know i think like i said before if she changed her sound it will definitely help improve how people receive her music um you know the seven of pentacles here in reverse that talks about short-term reward so that just means that you know she's not gonna have a 10 year um a 10 year rap career okay She'll still be famous in, in the industry, but the Seven of Pentacles, that talks about short-term reward, not long-lasting. You know, maybe the singles are not going to last long. Um, the, the hype might die down, something like that, okay? Um, the Page of Swords, that talks about her putting up a fight. So she's still going to try to put out music, um, and she's not going to give up easily. easily. She's still trying to look for a hit record that can change people's perspective of her okay so she's still going to try to um you know release music and hopefully get a hit so that is on her mind she is aware that there is a disconnect we also have the six of swords here in reverse and that kind of talks about um you know release of baggage okay the release of baggage could uh, baggage could be multiple things you know the Tory Lane situation people still haven't gotten answers on that a lot of people do question whether Tory is actually guilty or not so that does hang over her head in regards to her career and then the ten of swords here in reverse that talks about resisting an inevitable end so basically you know her career is not going to be long lasting overall in rap but she'll still be able to make money she'll still be able to get commercial deals um as long as she's not in any big controversy if she's in any big controversy you know that can easily be stopped okay but she is aware that there is a disconnect with the audience, okay? She's still trying to look for that hit. She is trying. Um, let's see. Uh, how will Megan the Stallion do when it comes to commercial deals in 2022? How will Megan the Stallion do when it comes to commercial deals? Okay, so, you know, 
the page of cups that talks about possibilities so it does seem as though you know more brands do want to work with megan Thee stallion okay so more brands are looking at you know the clout that she has you know the following that she has and you know brands do want to collaborate with her um the seven of swords here in reverse that talks about moving strategically so um you know the energy i'm kind of picking up on is that she is kind of looking at like a 10 year you know five year plan and she's already kind of preparing you know her life outside of rap and that's why she did the popeyes deal because she's going to be opening her up her own restaurants so that's something that's a long-term goal for her so even if she stop you know doing rap even if she doesn't get a lot of commercial deals she'll still be able to make money. So that talks about moving strategically. Um, we also have the two of wands that talks about lack of progress. You know, people might cater towards or go towards Dolce Cat and Cardi more if, you know, they're more popular because they appeal to the mainstream artists. So she's going to have a lot of co a competition when it comes to commercial deals, but she's already preparing in her mind, you know, life outside of music, you know, outside of fame. Okay, and then the chariot car, the chariot card talks about direction. Um, you know, being able to strategically move forward. Uh, you know, willpower. So she is, you know, planning on collaborating with other, other artists and um, other companies. Okay, and then the sun card. In reverse, that talks about being overly optimistic. So that just means that, you know, she may not get a lot of deals, but there's still going to be brands wanting to work with her. She's going to have a lot of competition, like I said before. Okay, and the hair font, that talks about challenges. Okay, so right now, you know, it seems as though she's going to have, you know, a lot of competition when it comes um, to commercial deals. Um, in 2022, because, you know, a lot of the rap chicks are going to be out, Cardi, Nicki, um, Dolce Cat, and when it comes to Dolce Cat and Cardi, you know, a lot of, you know, the industry and companies may focus on them a little bit more because they appeal to the mainstream audience, okay? But she'll still be able to make money and companies will still want to work with her, okay? They just might go to Dolce Cat and Cardi B first. Whoever, you know, denies, you know, you know, that company or doesn't take that deal, it might go to Megan afterwards. Um, only because, you know, they have a bigger fan base. It's not necessarily because, you know, people don't like Megan. Okay. So let's see. Um how will her relationship be with the baby in the future? Will her and the baby be able to make amends? Megan Thee Stallion and the baby. Will they be able to make amends in the future? Megan Thee Stallion and the baby. Will they be able to make amends in the future? Megan Thee Stallion and the baby. It seems like it's going to be hard for them to make amends. It's going to be hard. The death card is here. That talks about an ending of something. And then we also have the ten of swords here, upright, which talks about betrayal. So Megan still feels betrayed by um, the baby. Okay. He does want to make amends with her. The six of swords. This talks about forgiveness, moving on. So the baby would like to make amends with Megan, okay, if she's open to it, because this talks about forgiveness moving on. But she still has her pain um, from him collaborating with Tory Lanez, okay? And the King of Swords is here in reverse, um, and Megan kind of feels like the baby is manipulative, okay? Um, that he fooled her, okay? Six of Pentacles, this talks about money, wealth, if they get back cool, they're going to make a lot of money together. If they get back cool and collaborate, that will be a big money move for the baby and Megan Thee Stallion. Okay? But she still has a lot of hurt towards him. He wants to make amends with her, though. 
the hangman this talks about stalemate guarded and then we also have the ace of swords in reverse that talks about lack of growth progress okay so you know if Megan is willing to put, you know, her differences aside with the baby. He's open to it. Um, it does seem as though he wants to make amends, but she still feels betrayed by him because of Tory Lanez. Okay, let's see. Um, how does Jay-Z feel about Megan Thee Stallion? Jay-Z, let's see. How does he feel about Megan Thee Stallion currently? Jay-Z, how does he feel about Megan Thee Stallion? Jay-Z, how does he feel about Megan Thee Stallion? Okay, so we do have the Magician card that talks about power. That talks about, you know, when somebody uses their power to kind of help someone. So he does use his power and his connections to get Megan in certain places, okay? Um, Ace of Swords, he sees a lot of growth in her, okay? He's hoping that, you know, they can continue um, their relationship because he makes a lot of money off of Megan Thee Stallion, especially when it comes to commercial deals. He makes a lot of money. Um, the Nine of Swords is here that talks about sadness, depression. He doesn't feel like she's all the way happy, okay? He doesn't feel like she's 100% happy, that she could be, you know, putting on a facade, okay? Um, we also have the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, and that talks about the dark side of the industry. That means that, you know, he's making sure that she does her rituals, that she's doing what the industry wants her to do. Okay, the Ten of Pentacles in reverse talks about the dark side of the industry. So he's overseeing, um, you know, what she's doing, making sure she's doing her rituals, how she's acting on social media. He does watch her. Um, the Emperor card is here too. That talks about a powerful figure, okay, using his connections. Um, we also have, you know... The Eight of Wands, that talks about excessiveness, okay? So, you know, he does keep, like, a very close eye on Megan Thee Stallion, making sure that she's doing exactly what he tells her to do, okay? But we also have the Ten of Cups in reverse, and that talks about the struggle. So even though he's happy that he makes um, money off of her and that she's doing what needs to be done, it's almost like he's trying not to get too close to her okay he's he's trying not to get too close to her when it comes to um i guess having an emotional relationship like when they talk you know he tries not to get too personal with her okay it's like you need to do what you have to do to get to the top um and then we also have the queen of pentacles in reverse that talks about work home conflict he does feel like her relationship sometimes get in the way of things. You know, she put party in that um, deal or ad for a coach and with a bunch of her friends. So he does feel like, you know, sometimes, you know, she lets her relationship kind of get in the way of things or um, maybe um, clouds her judgment. Okay. Because even though she's everywhere, um, party has helped her with her last album and it didn't really do too well. So you, he doesn't want... Megan to listen to party too much, okay? You need to be listening to him. That's how he feels. Anyway, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you turn on post notifications. I might do it part two, might not. And I hope you have a great day.